What up guys, Kevin here. So fast food prices, let's talk about fast food prices. We got a little TikTok or whatever to react to. Um, I tried doing a pickup at Popeye's yesterday. This woman was the most incompetent person ever. Instead of making the, the oldest person, whoever was there the longest, making their order first, she would just piecemeal whatever was laying around to try to make whoever's order that came in last. So I came in, she tried to make my order, and she's like, oh, we need two chicken sandwiches. And then someone else came in, and I noticed her just grabbing shit from other people's orders to try to make it for them. And I see her grabbing uh, something from my order because it was part of that person's order. She was the dumbest person I've ever seen work fast food. And I'm being considerate to people who work fast food because I understand, yeah, they don't attract the brightest. I was like, holy, this person is the dumbest person ever the dumbest person ever instead of just making the last person she would just grab whatever's laying around and just try to make something <laughs> i've never seen that um but anyways let's get back to fast food prices they're pretty damn expensive so expensive that i've become chef kevardi i'm chef kevin i'm actually making dinner um a few times a week and look Let's watch this. McDonald's. So I get there's a labor shortage. I get there's wage increases and a number of other things. But $16. $16 for a burger, a large fry, and a drink. It's it's just crazy. McDonald's. So I get there's a labor shortage. I get there's wage increases and a number of other things. But $16. $16 for a burger, a large fry, and a drink. Yeah, sixteen dollars and ten cents for what a large quarter pounder meal. Listen, um, five guys. That's like five guys prices. I think five guys is like a couple dollars more. They get away with it because they consistently make great burgers. And actually I'm not sure if they even get away with it. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing those close down. But yeah. The thing about McDonald's and these like just regular fast food places, they're so inconsistent. It's happened where I spent this much on fast food and it just, the bun is uh, stale, just something's off, the fries are mushy. Like I watched a woman once like come in, these fries are cold, these fries are cold, get me new fries. I was like, damn, but <laughs> at these prices, I'm like, yeah, get yourself some fresh fries. Um. Yeah, 1610. I know California, didn't they raise their wage to $20 minimum? It's like, okay. <laughs> um Yeah, th these are jobs. Look guys, these are jobs for kids. These are jobs for kids. But what are kids doing? They're doing what I'm doing here. They're trying to become famous on the internet. And doing this, it doesn't take you know, it doesn't take that many views to where you're probably making more doing this, ranting about expensive fast food, than actually going and working fast food. I would never want to do it. I would never want to work fast food. It just seems like a miserable experience. But it's supposed to be a job where kids, you know, they turn 16, that's what they go do. But now kids turn 16 and they open up OnlyFans or whatever. Um... It, the thing that sucks is I'm making, I would say I make a shit ton of money, but <laughs> with inflation, I don't. And that's what's kind of sad is it feels like it's scaled up. I'm like, wait, what was I making about 10 years ago? Well, I was making this much 10 years ago. How much was like a Big Mac meal? I was like, oh, it was, you know, excellent. It was like, what, eight, nine bucks? But I'm like, oh, that's kind of, it. it's scaled to what I make. I feel like fast food has scaled to what I make. That difference between what I make an hour and what a Big Mac meal is it has pretty much stayed the same, the same difference, which really sucks. That's not where you want to be in life. You want to graduate college, get to your big adult job, get a raise or two, and you know a fast food meal be you know a tenth of your hourly pay, not sixty percent. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's. Guys, you guys vote for this. Here, this doesn't cost 16 It's still probably like 12 13 bucks here in Arizona. But in California, I mean, you get what you vote for. 
Um, when you vote Democrat, you get stupid shit like this. I'm not trying to make this, you know, Democrat versus Republican, but um, yeah, <laughs> I don't like this bumper sticker. Don't, don't California my Arizona. You see those bumper stickers all over Arizona. I just think it's kind of cringe and cheesy, but it's true. I do believe it. Don't bring that shit over here. We like our uh, eight nine dollar uh, Whopper meals and shit, but it's like, oh, these poor fast food workers are not making a livable livable wage. I'm like, yeah, they shouldn't be making a livable wage. A livable wage should be what a cell phone and maybe uh, the gas in the car or insurance, <laughs> whatever their parents make them pay for. Because they should live with their parents. That's what these jobs should be. And maybe that's just what the system is doing. Like, all right, let's just weed everybody out. But, you know, prices are never going to go back down. McDonald's is not going to go back down. I, I hear they're, like, introducing, like, a $5 meal. I mean, that's what they'll be doing, just introducing, like, deals like that. But I don't know. I'm just someone that wants, like, a Big Mac meal. I love a Big Mac. Oh, but... Yeah, sixteen ten is just so much money. Sixteen ten. You tell me, like, hey, Kevin, like, twenty years from now when you're working, it's gonna cost sixteen dollars for a Big Mac meal. I'll be like, get the fuck out of here, get out of here. But, anyways, well, I gotta go. Shame on you, McDonald's, you dumbasses. Like, are McDonald's hurting? Are they hurting? It reminds me when I worked at Papa John's. And they raised the minimum wage one year, and Papa John's was pissed. So we used to put 48 pepperonis on a large pizza. They brought that down to 40. Instead of two cups of cheese, we went down to a cup and a half. And then they increased the delivery fee per delivery. And I got a little bit, but they took a bigger chunk of that increase. So that's just what these companies do. They go, fuck you. You got to pay 20 bucks an hour. Like, think about it. All right. You got like 10 people working and it was what? 15 an hour. And now it's an extra five. So what's five times 10 is 50. So extra 50 bucks an hour. McDonald's gets enough traffic to not have to increase it. An extra what? (laughs) Two, three bucks per order. Like, how much extra are they getting per order? They're, it's like every time you order, you gotta, they want you to pay like an hour for an employee. They're like, oh, you're ordering? Well, you need to take an, care of an hour of one employee. That's what it feels like, right? I mean, I, I believe don't go broke, but you're McDonald's. Like, you can't be hurt. <laughs> you can increase it without increasing it. Like, what's an extra like 10, 20 cents per? you know, a meal or burger or whatever. Like that's, that would be like, okay, yeah, we get it. Minimum wage went up. So you're going to increase it 20 cents. We get it. Like two, three bucks. Get out of here. All right. I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I'm craving fast food. (laughs) I'll talk to you later. Later.